Hey guys, it's Crowbench. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to this episode of my world tour. Hope you guys are well. Happy New Year. Hope you had a good 2015 and I'm looking forward to 2016. And the guys that celebrate Christmas, hope you guys had a good one. I also celebrate Christmas and it was very good. Nice to see the family and have dinner and stuff. So, we're just going to do some stuff in this world and we thought to come over here because we haven't come over here recently. And it gives us a good opportunity to look at a new thing I've built. As I go through the base, I just wanted to get another perspective on our base area, but we've got this big hole down here that I've got plans for this, but I won't reveal them until I don't know if I've already told you them or not, but this will come to light soon. It's not gonna be a mob mob trap before you guess. Um yeah, so anyway, I had loads of cobblestone left over from this and something I always wanted to do in Minecraft was build a castle. Now I built a sand castle in a series long ago. I think when I hit 200 subscribers, I built a sand castle. And it was really cool, but I wanted to build a proper, proper castle. So what I've done is, I built a castle around, oh, I don't want to spoil it, around the Wits Farm. And I'm just going to show you a time lapse of me doing it, and then we'll come back and have a closer look.
I've built a castle. It also does some other things here. But yeah, I built a castle around the witch farm. I really, really pleased with how this came out. Quite a simple design. But, um, like, it came out pretty much exactly how I imagined it. I wanted these, like, jetting out corner bits, but not too much. I tried looking for, like, a similar design on the internet, just on Google Images. I couldn't really find exactly what I was looking for, but looked at some sandcastle designs, and they, you can get some mad sandcastle. Like, type in sandcastle, like, professional sandcastles. They're mental. Uh, yeah, but anyway. So I've done some stuff down here. I've made like a little gradual incline up to here. Just capped it off with like a little bit of these like tower things. But this isn't permanent. I might upgrade this, but for the time being it just flows nicely to this man-made swamp I've made with a few trees, um, some crops and a bit of like a bushy area here. The cool thing is I've made it so I can get over there really quickly. So you come over here, jump, whoops. Yeah, that lag from fraps. Let's try again. Come over here, jump to this one, that one, then you're here. You want to come in? Hmm. See, I keep hearing normal mob noises when this should just be spawning skeletons. But anyway, here's how I'm killing my skeletons, my, my witches. What I've got here is I've got the floors. One, two, They've got all types of mobs in them now. And I've got only witches out, so it's a spawn. And they're all connected up with water. And there's buckets in here, and they're all connected with redstone. And what I can do is I come down here, flip the switch twice at the minute, and it will empty all the water out. And it'll push all the mobs out. And then we can just turn it off again by double switching it. And it all come down here, and these iron golems. I tried killing these witches in a creative world, and they're literally indestructible. You can't suffocate them, you can't drown them, you can't use lava, you can't even try and. Ah, oh, it's just so hard to kill them, but. A bunch of golems seem to do a good job, and they eventually do track them. Whoa, that's not good. Right, that should be shut. Yeah, so for the time being, that's. Okay, I'm going to make it look a lot nicer in here. But after building the castle, I'm a bit burnt out. Let me just get rid of this. How long does this wait? Am I actually going to die? Um. Yo, cow. Come on, give me your milk. <laughs> oh, phew. Okay. That's pretty quick thinking. That cow should be in a more convenient place. For potential poisons. Right. Okay, the other thing I want to start doing. I'm pleased with how this man-made swamp has started. I'm going to continue this round my base. Um, once I've sort of finished the outskirts of the base and I know how I want I want like natural land to come back around it, so that the base feels more situated in the land. But if we come around here, this is all a bit straight and narrow at the minute, but that's just to get a rough bearing on where the coastline is going to be as it goes around. And what we've got here is we've got this massive hole, and what we're going to do is I'm going to make a redstone museum. Loads of levels, and then on each level I have different mechanisms or redstone circuits so that when I need them somewhere else in the world instead of looking them up I can just come here and go to whichever floor I need and look at the actual redstone in like first person and be like oh yeah that's how it's done and then go away and make it and then I have some practice floors just for messing around with redstone but what I want on the top here is I want an Aztec design temple um, so I've come and started filling the swampy area here around it and what I'm going to do is instead of the, the coastline here used to come sort of there was like the solid bit and this was all swampy what I want to do is I want to bring that solid coastline to along here so it wraps around more so what we're going to do is we're going to build an Aztec temple here probably bring this ground a bit more towards it and make it sort of fit in this area a bit more natural so it looked like 
there's been an Aztec tunnel here for ages, like before any of this was built. And it'll be like sort of in the swamp. And then we'll have that to the entrance to the tunnel. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some building of it, but I'm just going to do it in jump cuts. Uh, I'll show you a bit and then another bit and then just sort of progressing through it and then I'll do a view of it after I'm finished and I'm just going to do that over some music instead of talking and yeah so I hope you enjoy this episode and enjoy the building of the Aztec Temple thanks guys see ya